Perfect. So we're now live and I can see participants coming in both YouTube and uh, into the room. So a big, massive, warm welcome, whoever and wherever you are. And today I'm joined by the lovely Lin Zhang, the product manager for the UK for the AX Pro system. So thank you for joining me, Lin. No problem. Thank you for having me. An absolute pleasure to have you on board and to run through the some of the features and benefits of the AX Pro. So I've tested the AX Pro myself and it is a very powerful system. Um, we've got stock inbound, which is really exciting. But today is really about if we I'll share the PDF and we'll go through some of the selling points or the technology that the people or the customers out there, potential customers would like to know um, mm -hmm. the strengths of the system so they get a better understanding. So when the stock does land, that when they purchase it, they're armed with some much more technical information. Mm -hmm. For those of you who haven't seen, we have done a sort of a, a walkthrough guide on YouTube already, which has went down really well on YouTube. So if you want to know a little bit more about the system itself, you can go and check that video out. But I'm going to share my screen now and we'll go through the PDF and we'll just sort of talk about the selling points of our technology and then we can move forward from there. So hopefully it's engaging. We're not going to take up too much of your time today. We just really want to go through what the technology can offer you guys. So I shall share my screen. Uh, like this and you should now all see my screen so I'm gonna make this full screen when I can get my mouse and move this out of the way make it so it's not too bad yeah that'll be fine okay so AX Pro it's been would you say released very in the last couple of weeks in the UK so it's the, it's the updated version of the old uh, hub system would you say that's correct to say Lynn? Yeah, absolutely. So the AX Pro is a grade two wireless system. So there's no wiring involved in any of this. And there's two sort of, as you'll see, there's quite a lot of peripherals and more to be added. And there's a couple of variations on the panel. So there's all the panels have wireless or LAN connection, but the uh, higher end hub has also SIM card ability. So if you want to put the SIM card in there to connect to an ARC, or you want to use the Wi-Fi, or you want to use the LAN, then the higher hub has the, all three technologies, whereas the the entry level, as I call it, uh, has the Wi-Fi and LAN connection. So AX Pro, what do I think of it? Or what do we think of it moving through what's it got? So I'm going to skip through this presentation. I'll pick out the highlights. And again, if you want to jump in, then feel free. Yeah. So new technology, AX Pro presentation and a comprehensive solution. So part one is the new generation wireless technology. So what do you need to protect your home, office or shop? Are you still bothered by wiring and installation? Save cost and adopt our professional wireless alarm so solution. As it says here, it's completely wireless, really quick to deploy, really easy to deploy. All the programming can be done through the app, which makes it very convenient. And if you've used the Height Connect app in the past, you're going to be really blown away by how easy and how powerful this is to program. So it will save you time and labor and cost on site. So how does the alarm work? See something, do something. So you can see there we've got the PIR wireless camera, the hub, and then we've got an internal sounder and then a red and a blue external sounder. So just graphics of the solution. So what is the AX Pro? So it's got flood detection. So there is a flood detector in there, all wireless. Video verification. So you've got the PIR camera, but you can also link external IP cameras to this. So if you've got uh, height vision cameras and you add them into the app, you can actually pull in streams from the height IP cameras. So it gives you that sort of cause and effect, um, which is really powerful. A lot of the apps um, don't support video from their own product, or if it's a third party vendor, they struggle to pull video from in another vendor, where if you're already installing height vision CCTV, this is a really natural fit due to the integration possibilities. So intrusion detection, so there's a PIR, a curtain PIR, and a dual tech microwave, plus the door contacts, etc. home automation, and fire detection. So AX Pro family products. So it's a new look, so it's a modern look. So the packaging is very modern. So the packaging, when you get it, it looks very um, clean, very simple, but very modern. And um, all of the products fit in the modern, um, what I'd class as a modern architectural style. So they won't look out of place in a new or an old building. In fact, you can see there, you know, from the product selection there, you've got the door contacts, you've got the key fobs, slim lines, uh, internal sounder, PIR cam. You've also got a remote keypad, so wireless remote keypad, sounder, panel, 
uh, tag reader. So if you want to set an unset through the tag, that's not the panel. The panel actually has a built-in tag reader, but this is an external tag reader separate to the panel. Again, internal sounders, another panel, because the panel can be used as a repeater as well. Is that correct to use it? Or you can use it. Is, is it correct to add a panel in as a repeater, Lynn? Uh, it's a, another repeat. So, so we have individual repeater. So it's not another hub, it's a repeater. Okay, to there we go. To extend uh, range. Perfect. And then we've got the PIR cam and the pendant mount. So those of you that want a pendant mount, maybe you've got elderly customers or, you know, potentially, you know, vulnerable or disabled, then you've got a pendant mount that acts as a PA and it can have different um, effects from that as well. And it's all completely driven from the app. So if you know the Hike Connect app or the Hike Pro Connect app, then you're going to be really fine with this solution. So new generation wireless protocol. So it's got the dual RF uh, technology, Triax and CAMX, providing two independent RF technologies for PIR CAM and other devices separately to avoid interference. So that's really important. So you minimize like false alarms, dropouts, etc. Easy and flexible installation. Now I played it with myself and I do agree, very easy and flexible to install. Two-way smart uh, wireless technology, so real-time peripheral status supervision and indication, and that works really well. Long-range trans long range transmission distance to cover home office and shop. What is the transmission distance, Lynn, on some of the peripherals? Um, so, so, so open space, the hub itself is 2,000 meters, like okay. for the Triax, because we have dual technology. So yeah. Triax, 2,000, uh, Camax is uh, 800 meters. That's still an incredible distance. And whilst you say that's open air, and again, you have to take that, that not every installation will have that luxury of open air. That's still an incredible distance to get these devices reporting back on. So people that have got like sheds, garages, in their, you know, outbuildings, they can still fit this technology and still know that it's well within the distance capabilities of this equipment. So that's fantastic. Uh, the OTA update, so we can update the devices from the Hike Connect app. As, as, in fact, when I powered mine up uh, a couple of weeks ago, the first thing it said is, "Is a new firmware for the panel, please update it. So it was very, very pain-free, um, just simple update from the app. TDMA, so time division, multiple addresses. So dividing a signal into different time slots, avoiding channel blocking to improve communication stability. So again, really important for the stability of the overall system. Multi-channel frequency hopping, so we're able to adjust frequencies automatically across 50 channels to avoid interference and jamming. High security AES-128 encryption method, again, really important for those of you that like your high encryption. And extended battery life of the peripherals for up to six years. Now, that is up to six years, so it will depend on the use of the peripheral. Um, so, again, if it's being used continually in sending signals, that battery life will be reduced. But I will say the battery life on general is very good on this product. You know, if you don't get six years, you're still going to get sort of three years, I'd, I'd imagine, anyway, which is fantastic. So Triax technology, as Lynn touched on, so the long RF communication is up to 2,000 meters in open space. Again, not everybody's going to have that luxury, but it does provide, you know, up to 2,000 meters. But, you know, in the modern home where it's plasterboard, et cetera, and not concrete walls, it's going to be absolutely no problem for that. Camera, the CamX wireless technology. Now, this is one of my favorite devices, the PIR with a built-in camera, because you can send a video clip to your phone through the Hike Connect on activation, so you can actually see what's going on um, as the intruder, or maybe it might not be intruder, but as the intruder passes through the PIR, takes a snapshot, upload, uploads it to the Hike Connect app, and you can actually piece together and visual, visually verify what has gone on on the activation. So it makes an incredibly, incredibly powerful piece of technology. It's actually one of my favorite devices on this system. Uh, and again, the battery life is very good. So up to 800 meters on that. Part two, product presentation, AX Pro Hub. So you can see there, so dual SIM card, dual SIM card slots on the higher end panel, abundant protocol. So you've got this, the SEA protocols, you've got the, which is the standard communication pro protocol for most central stations. You've got ISAP and ISAPI. So ISAP and ISAPI are like the height vision integration uh, methods. Voice prompts, so the panel has a lovely built-in voice annunciation. So it tells you what fault is happening, what activation. Um, it's very comprehensive, very clear to understand, and you can adjust the volume through the app. Up to 210 peripherals, like whatever that total system looks like, it's up to 210 peripherals. RF repeater supported, as Lynn said. PIR camera supported. 
onboard IP camera supported, which we've already touched on, which makes it an even more powerful device. And especially if you're using high vision CCTV, it's more of a reason to use this technology over anyone else's. Dual RF chips, it's plug and play. It's got SMS and alarm voice call if you use the SIM card side of it, EN improved and multiple communication methods, which we've already touched on. Anything else you want to add there, Lynn? Or? Yeah, I think it, it's it's every like the key highlights here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think everything is covered within this one slide. So if it, you know, this basically tells you everything that you need to know about this system and how powerful and flexible it can be. Yes. Yes. So AX Pro, that's the box. I said about the box is like nice and modern. Um, dare I say it, Apple like, um, although I don't like dropping other brands' names in there, but it is very nice, modern, sleek. Uh, so when you get it, the customer will look at it and think it's a very professional product, which it is. Um, the panel itself is not very big. It's a very simple thing to fit. It's a back plate that you can mount to the wall, um, power it up, and then just slide it onto the back plate and then two screws hold it in place to secure anyone from removing it from its mounting plate. But on the front, you'll have the system indicator. So under here, they have little um, symbols. So it tells you if there's a fault, if it's connected to the cloud power, etc. So it's nice, uh, easy to read symbols. You've got the power indicator there and a built-in tag reader. So in the box, you get three tags. If the customer wants to set and unset with a tag, it's really simple. You can add the tag to the system and they can use the tag to unset and set. You can also use the app. You can also use the key fob, the RF key fob, or you can use the remote keypad. So it's very flexible how you arm and disarm this. I th most people I would either use the tag or the app itself because the app is so powerful, I'd imagine anyway. So on the back, you've got your um, power switch, LAN interface, power supply, tamper switch. Again, it is tampered. When you fit this to the wall, it is tampered. And an important thing to know, it is grade two certified as well. For those of you that keep asking, it is past that grade two certification. SIM card slots, RS-232 and a reset button. So it's a very simple unit in design. The battery is actually housed, an integral battery is actually housed. There's some locating screws to hold the back plate on that can be removed if there was an, ever a battery fault, not that we recommend you opening it, but the battery could be removed and replaced with a plug on board battery. And I believe it's 12 hours standby, is that correct, Lynn? Yes, yeah. and, and when you're uh, pl uh, plugging the mains, it can be recharged, the battery. Yeah, perfect, so there we go, thank you. Um, system topology, so wireless zones, wireless arming tools and any wireless output, so obviously sounders, uh, arming tools is the RF key fob and keypad, and then you've got your different detection peripherals, and then obviously as the demand and uh, technology grows, there'll be more of those devices added. So it's quite simplified now, very streamlined and easy to choose the devices, and again, more will come online as the system becomes more popular. I bet there's lots of things planned in the pipeline. So you've got the remote and local programming option, wireless panel, CCTV system, all inside, you know, through the internet to the app, and also the ARC integration. If you wanted to go through an ARC, signaling through, you know, for PA, Fire Intruder, whatever that is, then you can do that um, through the ARC integrations. I think now Sentinel's been uh, passed this to go online. I, I was told yesterday by an ARC, they're happy to receive this through Sentinel now, correct? Yes, yes, we have tested with Sentinel and uh, they can receive uh, the alarms from yeah. our... Perfect. So yeah, they, they came back to me yesterday as well and agreed that it was okay to put mine online with them as well. So fantastic. And to be fair, Sentinel is one of the ones that's most commonly used for ARCs that use alarm systems for receiving alarms and events, etc. So perfect. Okay, so dual RF chips, as it said before, so depending on, so it basically gives the system stability, so it doesn't have like, like the interference, it reduces all the, you know, instabilities and interference, so it's been very well engineered from the offset to make sure we eliminate all of these um, hazards that other systems may see. IVAS, intruder verification as a service. So you've got the HD verification as a service. So like you said, you can link a high vision IP camera to it. You could also use the um, PIR cam, which is another really effective way of using this, all to the Height Connect app. So you can cross link uh, an alarm event from this PIR is linked to these, like say four cameras, which gives you a very, very powerful solution. So you get live video when an alarm is triggered and obviously you've got playback if you need to go back and retrieve footage. And again, video verification via substream. So again, third party IP cameras through substream, but it's basically really, really powerful. Up to four IP cameras directly connected through the app to the panel and then seven seconds of video delivered to mail or height connect app. So it makes it very flexible, very powerful. And there is an open API for integration as well, I believe. Well, it does say that, I, uh, 
I should read more. Uh, multiple communication mode, so built-in Wi-Fi and LAN, so again, you get the stability. Most people will probably, if they fit in these in a domestic, will pick up on the user's Wi-Fi because it makes it really nice and easy to deploy. You don't have to have any additional cabling, but there is uh, an option to have the dual SIM card slots that you can insert your own SIM cards just to let you know they don't come with SIM cards. Uh, like a few people have um, suggested to me, they don't come with SIM cards, so you would have to offer your own up. If you've got a main and a backup, and then it's uh, much better selling the network condition, and then you can you know choose which communication path and then enable the ARC, etc., ARC communication mode, etc., through that. So, very, very simple to configure. Other key features. So prevent, I'll move this out of the way, so we're out of the way. Prevent false alarm through professional intruder features, giving more reliability and enhanced zones. So you've got the cross zone uh, and double knock functions. Selectable zone types for different detectors for different scenarios. So whether it's entry, exit, PA, um, instant zone, etc. So it's very, very flexible on the setup of the system. And then obviously if it's entry, exit, you've got different timers, etc. Voice prompt. Now the voice prompt is really simple to use. It guides the user well, the installer and the user. So when you power it up, it'll voice prompt you to do certain functions. And then as the user, it gives you the voice prompts um, when you interact with the system. So it's really simple and very intuitive for both the installer and the user. And scheduled auto arm. And one thing I found really nice about this is you can set, there's 32 areas up to 32 areas you could use. And you could have, say, one area could be the garage, one could be the shed, et cetera. And you can put these on auto arm and an auto disarming. So if you know there's an area that you need to arm and disarm at set time, so someone can go in, use that area, and then come back out, and then it rearms at a certain time, the, the system has that functionality. So auto arm and disarming function, uh, which is really nice to see, really, really powerful solution. Coming soon, uh, so there's some more stuff coming soon. I got told yesterday by Hike some of the stuff that is coming, which is really exciting. And then, like I said, we got two um, hub types here. You've got one with 96 zones and one with 64 zones is the one we're sort of offering. So 64 zones and nine, that should be enough for any system. If you've got 64 zones, um, that is a lot anyway, compared to some of the other competitors out there anyway. Um, but there are two variants in the panel, 64 and 96. 32 partitions, which are like the areas, partitions, whatever you want to call it, onboard LAN, Wi-Fi, 3G, 4G, dual SIM cards, PIR supported, and the video clip sending, which we already touched on, and then the Pro-L, the 2,000 meter RF communication range, 64 zones or 16 partitions, PIR cam, and onboard Wi-Fi, GPRS. So depending on what the situation application is, you've got the middle or the lower end hub and the middle hub. So really we're going to be stocking both. So it gives the customer some flexibility and obviously the cost saving depending on your application. So perfect. And moving out the way again. Um, and then it shows some basic functions. So you've got on the left hand side, you've got the L and on the right hand side, you've got the middle hub. So you've got the 64 versus 96, eight keypads, 30, 32 keypads versus 48 keypads, 32 users, 48 users, 32 partitions, PIR camera supported, two repeaters, four repeaters, because obviously if you're going to go a long distance, then you might need to add some repeaters in there to get additional distance and cover. And then the communication modes. So it tells you unique selling points underneath for each panel. And again, if anyone wants a detailed description of these, we can give it. I'd say, what do you think is going to be the most popular out of these, Lind? Or do you not, do you think both? Well, possibly? well I think L is more pop will will be more popular because of yeah. the but for me the M is more cost effective because M comes with a tag reader included. Yeah. So you to purchase extra tag reader. True. So, so L you need extra and M is more uh, has has three gen four G so yeah. it's can have the cable and Wi Fi and the three uh two SIM cards so four communication modes uh -huh. enable. So you are, it, it will never get offline, kind yeah. of. That's perfect. I'd yeah. say if I needed 90, I wish I had a house big enough, Lynn, to have 96 detectors in my house. So uh, that's hell of a property. The <laughs> so yeah, you don't have to use them all, but I wish I had one that was big enough to have it all fit in. But maybe one day, maybe one day. Um, and again, this just shows you some specifications of the equipment. So you've got the panel, admin, installer, users, sounders, readers, onboard video area. So it's a um, like a holistic view of the system setup effectively. Part two, product, product presentation and peripherals. So we'll run through what the peripherals are. And you probably know by now, but again, 
designed and produced by the world leaders in security height vision. So you've got yeah, different detector types, motion detection technology. So we've got the standard passive infrared technology. So it detects the temperature difference between human body and background objects at room temperature. Everybody knows how a passive infrared works. I'm not going to touch on it too much. Then we have a microwave sensor that adds in uh, another layer of false alarm immunity. For those of you that don't know, a microwave is a lot more stable in some applications. So if you want to add in a, another layer of potential false alarm immunity, then the microwave, it does cost more, of course, but then the dual tech is definitely an enhanced detection type. With underneath you say you've got the dual tech, which is both PIR and the microwave combined, which gives it an enhanced ability. So most people are okay with passive infrared technology in their house, um, but again, there sometimes there's a need to use dual techs. Digital temperature compensation. So this is just how they're receiving the signals and translating them into alarm. So you've got the hot and the cold. So we're not going to dwell on that too much. Again, if you need to go in that a little bit more detail, you can. But it's just a digital temperature compensation that they use, algorithm. IFT technology, so they paint into this. So it allows the detectors to auto adjust their sensitivity depending on the external environment, infrared noise conditions. So that will really help make the detector stable. So whereas other vendors may not be able to you know, fine tune or you know, adjust their detector uh, patterns algorithms and um, this really does help keep the detector um, as fault free as possible do you have anything to add there lynn or do you just agree on that oh yeah i agree yeah. with that yeah definitely full focus 3d optical lens so they've used a full focus 3d so the curved array lens allows excellent focusing of the zones into the pir center to improve the detection of moving targets and ensure more precise signal processing so this is all about getting the best out of the detector and minimizing false alarms that's fantastic um there is also so there's a a creep zone which is really good really powerful so if you try and get in the detector there's a curtain pir so if you need a long narrow beam to maybe cover across patio doors, uh, long patio doors or, you know, bifolding doors, um, the PIR, standard PIR and the dual tech sensor. Broadband sound, broadband sound detection technology. So um, this isn't one released in the UK yet, is it, Lynn? Because it's not one I've been able to order. Not, not, not yet. It will come out soon. Yeah. Okay. That's fantastic. This is one of the new products. It will come online shortly. So, um, glass breaking, et cetera, that kind of thing, where they're smashing glass, you know, maybe it's a jeweler's or a big shop glass front when you need to know if they're breaking glass straight away, then this is that detector. So, uh, you know, sound detection um, technology, which is fantastic. PIR cam appearing. So again, nice packaging, the PIR camera. So you've got the infrared sensor and alarm LED. You've got the photo camera built into it, infrared IR LEDs, easy change battery. So all of the products, you can easily change the batteries, so they're standard industry batteries. Um, depending on the product will depend how many batteries are in there, but they're very simple to change. Um, when they come, the batteries will be fitted, but the product will be turned off, so just a case of turning them on, or most of them you just open it, turn it on, make sure the batteries are fitted correctly, and then you can uh, go into enrollment mode and add that to the system. It's really simple. Tamper switch and power switch. PIR camera again. So. I think this is going to be really powerful for those of you that want, you know, especially if it's a high value area or maybe it's your front door or an area of vulnerability in the property that you can get those like instant alarms with the video clips attached. It's going to be really powerful, especially to see if it's false alarm or not. And again, key features, 12 meter detection range, a full PIR coverage of like nearly 86 degrees, up to 30 kilograms pet immunity, which is really good if you've got a big dog like I had. 800 meters transmission distance and up to 20 photos fused into a gift delivered um, into the app and then five seconds, uh, up to five seconds delivery to the app and then up to six years battery life. But then that will depend on how often the product is sending alarm through. So if it's can, you know, used heavily and the sound is sending a lot of signals through, then that battery life will be reduced. Um, but again, up to six years is fantastic. Comparison, so performance in meeting room, so better field of view, better color rendition, better white balance. So you've got Hype Vision Air and then another brand of camera. So you can see it is quite clear, nice field of view, very easy to see who would be standing in that room and what they were up to, evidence purposes, whatever. Security and privacy, so respect your privacy. The PIR cam can be widely used in home office or shop environments. When triggered, the PIR cam will send a short video clip of the activation, allowing users or the ARC to take action. 
all transmissions is encrypted and the PIR camera is only active when the system is set so it does not invade your privacy. That's really important. So these will only send videos, one, to say battery life, because if you're doing it continually when the system is disarmed, the battery wouldn't last six years. But again, the privacy um, side of it is really key to everybody here, encrypted and obviously extended battery life by only having it send in this when it's armed. Combined brake glass detector, curtain PIR, indoor PIR, and then the PIR cam. So that's the, well, that one isn't quite out yet, but that's the current lineup here, along with a dual tech. Smoke detector, so very familiar in the UK market, nice and easy to fit. Magnetic contact, and there's two different types of magnetic contact. There's a mini one and then a, a, a slightly larger one. Um, emergency wrist button and then standard emergency button. So what the standard emergency button do, don't forget they're all batteries. So these can be fitted um, next to the bed, next to the front door, et cetera. And you can program them. So a user may have to press it twice in concession to make sure it goes through as a, a PA rather than somebody accidentally knocking it and then it goes through a PA. So you can program that through the app on how the user has to interact with this button. You know, And same with the pendant and, and emergency buttons. They all have the additional function where you can choose the operating mode. Magnetic contact, so nice and easy, up to 600 meters range, five years battery life, two channel wired zone interface, a surface installation, LED indicator went arm in. And again, so these are the two contacts, so slightly larger one and then a small, small, tiny one. And 1200 meters, three years battery life, vanishing installation, because they look so small, it's very difficult to see. It's nice, nice and neat, that one, especially in a house where you want to make anything as minimum as possible. And then LED indicate when arm in. External sounders, so we're currently in red and blue. And I've just got told today by Hike Vision about an hour ago, now you're offering screen printing. There is a more m minimum order to quantity on these, um, but they are there is screen printing. So for those of you who are on screen printing, it is available under minimum order quantity. You just need to contact your distributor, which of course will be DVS. Why wouldn't it be? Um, but again, two external detectors, red and blue, uh, and an internal sounder, all battery operated. So up to 1600 meters, arm disarming, and LED and sound indication, five years, free sound levels configurable, because uh, some people don't need it as loud as others, and then up to 110 decibels with LED, which is really, really loud. Again, just back to the panel, we've already sort of touched on those, so I'll skip through some of these. So application, so four repeaters, one hub. So you can see there, typical large cover. So you've got the hub and then the repeaters and then the devices connecting to the repeaters and then back to the pro. So it like makes like a, like best, the best way to describe this, like a mesh network. Would that be the best way to describe that, Lynn? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. So that's that one. Control devices. Now the keypad is quite a nice keypad. It's about the size of an iPhone 11. For those of you who have seen that, similar size as that. But the key fob is nice and rugged as well. Fit it on your key ring, put it on your car keys, keep it in the car, whatever you want to do. Um, and you've got the arm disarm buttons on the fob. Uh, and you've got two function buttons. And you can actually assign these function buttons for you know functions within the system, whether it's acknowledge and clear the alarm it could be checking arm in status etc so it's really flexible on how the key fob is programmed outside arm and disarm and then the keypad has some uh, additional functions as well but that could be located near the front door so that's nice and easy to use a tag reader and again again some people will use the keypad the rf fob or the built-in fob reader again if it's a small domestic you wouldn't need the external um, or the tag reader external to the panel because you could just probably use the app um, or just walk into the house and use the built-in tag reader in the panel. But there is an option to have this built-in, a separate tag reader, which could be located by an entry exit door as well. So again, 4200, Hike Central, Hike Pro Connect, they can all use the system and interact with it. Alarm voice call to user, SMS for alarm events if you're using the SIM card and then Hike Connect end user. So it's really flexible to deploy, many ways to deploy it. You don't have to have Hike Central, you don't have to, but it is compatible with Hike Central. You don't have to have Pro Connect. You could technically just use Hike Connect, but when I did it, I shared it through my, I added to the Pro Connect, which probably a lot of installers will do moving forward, add the product to Pro Connect, and then share it to the end user through Pro Connect. So you've still got some interaction with the system. Say there's a fault or you need to check or program something you can actually do that with the correct permissions. 
a convergent security solution. So you can say that you've got your end user install arc, you've got integration possibilities in the AX Pro all sit within the same sort of architecture. So all our systems are becoming more and more compatible and that's gonna continue to grow. So you'll find more like high pro connectors got like the cross device linkages. So you could have a PIR detection, trigger something on a unrelated device that sits in the same uh, system architecture. So it can become a very, very powerful convergent security system if you use Hike Pro Connect or again, Hike Central offers a lot more um, integration possibilities over just a standalone Hike Connect or by UMS 4200. Hike Pro Connect, so full configuration through the app and the web. That's how I did it. Uh, I found it really easy to use. Just scan the QR code, add it, follow the step-by-step -step guide. Within two minutes of getting out the box, the app, the alarm panel was added to the device, shared to the correct Hike Connect account. And from there, simple to program, add all the peripherals and get it working. Very, very simple to do. In fact, I didn't have any help. I, don't, I didn't ask. I had a little bit where Lynn sent me some firmware right at the beginning, but that's the auto firmware update came on after that, so I didn't actually need it uh, once I got past that bit. Um, but yeah, very simple to use, and I, I think the feedback that I've had of other people and what they've seen from the video is how easy this is to program and deploy. I'd say you'd agree on that, Lynn, hopefully. Good. Good all built around usability and obviously integration possibilities. Okay, uh, again, with the app, you just scan the QR code, which is in the bottom. And the one thing, the most helpful advice Lynn gave me when I first got this was download a QR code scanner and get the verification code because it doesn't come currently, and this may be changing, Lynn. On the version I have, the, the first, you know, sort of testing versions, when you scan the QR code for the verification code, it doesn't have that written on the sticker or the box. So I used a external QR code scanner and that told me the QR code, verification code, manufacture everything in one place. And I just noted it down for further through the add-in process when I was requested the verification code. But it was very simple to do using an external uh, QR code reader. And that was a really helpful bit of advice. Hike Connect, easy connect wherever you are. Again, we all know how wonderful and easy Hike Connect is to use. Really simple to use, really simple to deploy, to share, etc. So, yeah, fully integrated into the user-friendly uh, Hike Connect app, and that's where it needed to be. So it becomes a very simple system for you guys to deploy and maintain moving forward. One tap to disarm. So again, you've got the on the app is one tap to arm and disarm. So on the front end GUI, there's symbols uh, for the different areas. So if you put multiple areas in there, it's really simple to choose those. But again, you've got the home and away, so you can click on uh, arm in. So you can go get in your car, press arm and it alarm when you're outside the house or if you're on your way out. And again, before you get back or if you enter the property uh, through the correct entry exit route that's been assigned with the configuration, then you can obviously use the app to integrate with it. You get all the faults that are sent through, any alarms, faults, notifications will all come through to the app. Um, and again, and the panel will also audibly tell you these when you get into the building, if there happen to be anything. Again, we've touched on this two, twice already, but Hike Central and IMS 4200 integration. So especially with Hike Central, you can make it a very deployable system, centralized monitoring and management. And it's very simple for you as an estate owner or manager then to manage and monitor your systems and arm and disarm through there. So really, really powerful solution. Arc integration, as we already touched on. Apartment solutions, so just a typical apartment. So internal sound, the door contacts, PIR, magnetic contacts, IP cameras, keypads, panic buttons. And then you've got the different, it's basically system layouts. Yeah. And again, if any of you wanted to know what the part number's for, they're the part numbers and that's what the graphic looks like. So it's really simple for you to refer to. A different type of solution, so a villa type of solution. And then again, description is the equipment used. Uh, shop solution, so retail. And again, many, many of you will understand this from previous experience with other alarms that you've done. So it's not too dissimilar to that. But again, you make that what you want. Uh, kit list, office solution, description of kit, and then elderly care solution. So you can say it's got the panic button, the portable panic PA and the dependent mount one. So really, really powerful solutions. But if you've got elderly care, vulnerable people, people with mental disabilities perhaps, or physical disabilities, and you need them to be able to tell you that maybe they're in distress or they need additional help. So it's really powerful. 
and then the descriptions. And thank you. That was kind of it, really. That's what we were, uh, spe me especially, wanted to touch on on this webinar. I don't know if there's anything you want to add further to this, Lynn. Well, uh, you covered the most uh, key uh, highlights of the system. Um, so nothing actually from me, my side. Oh, that's brilliant. So I must have done a reasonably good job, which is fantastic. Um, what I would say is, you know, guys, when we get this land and it lands and we can actually touch it, send it out and you can sort of have a go and interact with it. There's a lot of um, excitement out there from our customer base that are really looking forward to getting their, you know, kits and getting out there, testing it and then moving forward with it, with the integrations and the different amount of flexibilities and saving time on installation and cost. So there's definitely um, a lot of excitement about this coming out there and where we can take this moving forward. Uh, what we'll plan to do is more training courses. So as the kits land and the uh, uh, items are available to buy, we'll start, you know, DVS and I guess Hype Vision have already looked at it, having dedicated training courses to help upskill you on how to use this. Again, I bumbled my way through and I will say bumble because it's been a couple of years since I've used an alarm. Even though that's my background, it has been a couple of years, but I managed to get it working. Within 30 minutes, I'd had a full system deployed, programmed, tested, and it just worked and I and it's been working for weeks and weeks and weeks in my house um, in different areas of the house and it hasn't given me one issue yet so it's a I'm so pleased with the performance of it and how easy it is to interact with it you know the app integration on its own is dead simple and very very easy to use so from me my side that's all I needed to go through so thank you all for joining and Lynn from your side I can't thank you enough for all the help and support mm -hmm. you me through the years and especially for joining today to give me some backup so again thank you very much and hopefully any questions either drop hype vision a line or drop dvs sales staff a line or you know those of you that know my contact details feel free to contact me and then you know any questions will help answer them and get or you know field them out to the correct people and that's all for me lynn so thank you very much for arranging this mm, thank you no thank you very much so from on that note i think we'll say goodbye and then stay safe stay tuned stay subscribed and we'll see you very soon for some more content thanks lynn bye 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 bye